Hi and thank you for joining me. Today we are going to show you how to format and install an operation system on a brand new laptop computer and for that we have the Lenovo V330. Stay tuned with me. So this is our Lenovo V330 and this is the computer we're going to install the brand new operation system on and I will show you how it's done simple and easy. First thing you're going to need is a portable CD-ROM drive. And you're going to load that with an operation system disk, like Windows and so on. You're going to plug it into the USB in the right hand side. Make sure that you plug in the power and turn on the computer. Once the computer is turning on, press F12 numerous times. F12 in order to reach the boot menu. Once you reach the boot menu, choose the USB device. Then press enter before this thing go away and it go away very fast after 5 seconds. In this case we're going to install 64 bit operation system Windows 10. And um it is very important to make sure that you are setting up a 64-bit operation system in that particular model because we will need to support the amount of memory that we have here which is 8GB DDR4 once this passed the window screen will be showing and you need to choose your language in a lot of cases the original mouse will not work so make sure that you have a portable mouse nearby and just plug it in it will start working immediately after you are done all the installation you can install the drivers for the mouse we're gonna choose um, install and we could get here an error and I will show you how to solve this error as well. This kind of error is when using uh, a version of Windows that is not support by GPT uh, hard drive uh, configuration. There is a configuration of GPT or MBR and if the computer is come with a GPT you will need to have a GPT but I will show you how to bypass this problem. So let's see if we have this kind of problem here. You see when I choose this section of the hard drive it says here Windows cannot be installed in this hard drive and when you open it it says that we cannot install with this Windows because it is not supported by uh, GPT only MBR so what we need to do is to click here fix your computer You see, it has your fix your computer logo, and we're gonna choose that. And then we're gonna choose solve problems, which is the upper box, and then advanced options. In advanced options, we're gonna choose the program line CMD. What we call the CMD, we're gonna want to write down this part D I S K P A R T. And press enter, and it will go inside Windows disk part and then we're going to choose list volume and it says that C which is the main hard drive is volume 1 so we need to do C 
select volume one and it will say volume one is now selected and we can do two things or clean or convert to MBR or GPT but we're gonna do clean and this crowd succeeded in cleaning the disk and now we're gonna turn off the computer and re do this whole process and now we will have no problem installing the windows again we are choosing 64 bit of course come back to the screen and we're gonna choose our language and now we're gonna choose install we can skip that for now this is the serial key but we can skip it and enter it in a later stage double CD it is hard and on the system here we are asked what kind of installation we would like to perform an upgrade in which Windows keep the files and the configurations and other apps or that is an advanced mode that we are configuring how we would like to do that because this is a new computer there is nothing here that we want to save so we're gonna choose the advanced mode as you can see now we have no problem installing the windows it doesn't say there any kind of error once more and the hard disk is clean and ready for the new operation system we're gonna choose next and the installation process will begin so after the initial installation is done, we are gonna see the screen that is like getting ready. So it's asking us again for the stereo and we will put it later. Let's click on quick. Put your name here. Or the name, the one that will use the computer in that case and it says now hello we are preparing things for you what kind of things I don't know and I don't really want to know it won't take long this is the biggest lie of windows because it is take long so eventually we have our operation system installed and ready to use and in the next video I'm going to show you how to install an office Microsoft Office on this computer um, don't forget that if you if you haven't put the serial number we want to activate the computer now so we go to control, control panel system and security system and you press here activate windows change serial number and then activate using your serial number that you bought in the original windows product